All right, Shandy's setting in now. I think we could get started. Um, We've got to be all serious, like. <clears throat> well, we don't have to be serious, but we can yeah. get through our points. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. The, the team got a Christmas present today for Russian Orthodox Christmas, by the way. Oh, yeah? What was that? Yeah. We've had a new developer um, express an interest in working with us. Bertux, he's been working in blockchain for a very long time. He's worked with me on a couple of other projects, is going to be onboarding over the next couple of weeks and hopefully contributing massively to towards getting um, called decoupling, rolling in a hurry. Brilliant. Nice. Yeah. So you say he's uh, the Russian guy? No, no, Bertux. No, 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 no. He's French. Oh, he's French. Okay. Yep. Where did you yoink him from? All kinds of places. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, it's great to have another developer on board to really uh, speed things along, for sure. Um, some of that mad French creativity, it's not a bad thing from time to time. How's the, uh, how's the code coming on, mate? Slow and steady. Um, it's been a bit rough with getting a lot of work done right over the holidays but we've got progress both on the annoying issue with things showing up several times in the testnet wallet as well as called the the forking mechanism the bip9 forking mechanism for the nodes so that both the nodes and the proof of work layer have to agree on forking to make basically forking in the asset layer is going to be a major change and we can't just put it in with a hard fork. If we do that, we are bound to have all kinds of breakdown in all kinds of places. Even if we try to make it backwards compatible, we don't want to go out and create any RTM classic or whatever. Now that I've said it, I've probably jinxed it and somebody's <laughs> going to run that. That's it. No, it's not going to happen, is it? You never know, mate. You never know. D, it's nice to see DJ Mind supporting us. Uh, he was mentioning us a lot over a couple of the last videos. Um, and we got a lot of new users from that as well. Uh, DJ Mind was mentioning how to collect the rain on the Stacy bot. And people were learning how to do that. Me and Sherm were giving extra rain out that we didn't really want to give out. But we were giving it out still. DJ Mind has also got a command on uh, the me six bot as well so if you do give out some rain and you want to uh mention dj mines and tag him and things like that we, we've put a little tagging with it with some messages uh including 22 and a few others that he the that the community like over there um yeah so so give that a try in the rain command in the phrase command that's uh exclamation mark dj mines We've got DJ Mines in DM as well, and we are arranging uh, another stream like we did before. That was great last time, so we're we're uh, we're going to be getting on DJ Mines uh, YouTube again, which will be very nice. Um, big thanks to DJ again for for uh, inviting us on, and uh, we've been more than pleased. Uh, Charlie, everyone seemed to like your winter walk video. Yeah, it's good to see. Uh, some like try to do every year kind of you know give a shout out to everybody and kind of voice my appreciation of the community and uh, everything they're doing and i had realized out there just, just kind of spur of the moment man i'm like wow i, I didn't uh, you know i didn't say anything i didn't really do anything i wasn't feeling good on new year's so that was fun i kind of enjoyed the uh, enjoyed doing it got me excited just talking about stuff man. got me really really stoked for for this year i think it's going to be a i think it's going to be an awesome year it's going to be a lot of fun so for those that didn't watch uh, your moon winter walk, walk video, why is this year going to be awesome, Charlie? Uh, well, and we got the Talon wallet coming. I think that's going to be kind of a, a big deal, marketplace and all that stuff. And then we have, uh, of course, Winterborn in the works. Um, that's not going to uh, be ready uh, anytime soon, but it's still rolling. Lots of work. It's pretty exciting. Uh, obviously, assets coming. I mean... That is one of our, you know, that's one of our pillars, man. That's one of our, our big features. So <clears throat> that by itself is super building on it this year. Once assets are available, uh, it's going to be fun. I'm excited to see what people come up with and uh, what they do with it. 
Fantastic. Cheers, Charlie. Uh, Soka Game Dev, who's working on Ghost Rider Valius, posted out another couple of updates. We, we originally had version 0.2.3 with an update log, with a logging system uh, in the testing phase, and also minor bugs fixes. And also, we've got a new update as well. So it's 0.2.3.1, and he added a ticket system to withdraw rewards from ads. Um, also implement the store and staking system and he's also improved gaming content content fixed tomato seed water can bar fade out city and login persistency as well so big thanks to soka game dev for continuing on that and uh you know pushing a game out now that everyone can use and uh that is uh due to utilize raptorium coins uh as well which is pretty cool uh, so if anyone wants to go and check that out, that is at Google Play. You can just search for Ghost Rider Valley uh, at Google Play. Or you can go, go to ghostridervalley.online. Also legendmaker.itch.io forward slash ghostrider dash valley. If you want to go and check that out and support the project there. Um, there has been um, quite a bit more work done on the, on the website during my free time uh, for the talent wallet website so that is now working well scaling on all devices and uh and ready for the main app to be implemented onto the website um so exciting stuff over there we're still not opening the discord for that yet <laughs> it's still a mystery so uh you know you'll have to wait a little bit longer in anticipation for that because uh we want to finalize some things before we start letting people into there and that includes you charlie as well and yeah. piggy <laughs> And Piggy. Who says I'm not already there? Oh, you're not there, Piggy. You're not. We already know. You're not. <laughs> Unless you're... I'm not. You're not Zlatter, are you? No, no, you're not. I do look pretty in a dress. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Is that why you keep flirting with me then? All right. Okay. We are now trackable on BitGet. Uh, it's not a listing there. Uh, so where it does say buy RTM. Uh, it will just link you to the to go buy another asset such as USDT, so don't fall for that trap. Uh, but yeah, it's nice that we're listed on BitGet as a trackable asset. Maybe one day we'll be listed there, who knows. Also, something I've noticed in the Discord over Christmas uh, is the fact that we've been shooting out a lot of rain, and there are ma many people of different nationalities uh, collecting that rain, and which we promote, and we really want people of all areas to come and collect it um so what i'm saying to you now or re reiterating to you is no matter where you're from whether you speak english or not whether you talk to the other people in the discord or not the rain is there for you to collect doesn't matter who you are where you come from and if anyone's salty about that or tells you otherwise uh just 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 come and have a speak bloody big man. exactly so uh, we're supposed to be growing a community, not trying to yeah. play me lead, me lead, me lead. Yeah, exactly. Fuck off and play slap fist on the IRC with some trout bots or whatever it is. Um, at the end of the we day, do. people, there's a few people in the Discord who are uh, being a bit tinfoil hatty about some of the members on the Discord, whereas we already know they're real people. Uh, they're just not fluent in english so um they're having to translate what they say before they say it in the discord and we fully respect them because they're trying to uh integrate with us and fit in and uh and we want to give people the space to do that and and to you know to to mix with the what raptors so uh yeah if anyone says you can't collect rain you're a bot or something like that just just come and have a word with us and uh, we'll deal with it um also, over christmas we had uh no, for New Year's, sorry, we had a wallet giveaway as part of Charlie's Million RTM reign. We had uh, <clears throat> somebody crazy enough to actually crack, uh, how many letters was it it was again? It uh, was rather silly. Walk? There's nothing silly about all the, the first three lines of walk, Pantera's walk, yeah. as a wallet password. It was rather it's silly. It was, it was long. Yeah, it was long, yeah. But um, apart from that, that was, my oh, goodness. <clears throat> is it? 
What what was it his name was now? Ah, I can't remember him. <clears throat> what Pantera lead singer? No, 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 no. The guy who cracked it. Oh, it's um the first one was pinned in uh, general. I pinned it there. Oh, you pinned it. Uh, you pinned it in general chat. Ah, brilliant. So what's the other one cracked as well? Uh, yeah, bad gaming. Ah, that's bad good. gaming. Crack, crack that. And Fosgen has been hard at work. I don't think he's doing been doing much else <laughs> uh, <laughs> last week. But um, so that, that... he's man he's actually managed to crack both the Easy Wallet, um, which turned out to apparently been have been much much harder for him, uh, and the Hard Wallet. So he has done it. Yeah, he's gotten both of them. All right, he's gotten both of them. He's but that's I, it. I thought there was one left. Nope. No. All right. All right. I must take round, it. round the clock for the last week or so. Okay. Which is, I think he got addicted to it after the he got the first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fostering can get quite persistent, can't he? Yeah, but I mean, it was some of the stuff was absolutely diabolical. I'd chosen several things deliberately that don't translate into single words, but translate into two words in another language, or where basically one of the other words, one of the words from the original rhyme gets omitted because it doesn't mean anything in the language it's supposed to be translated into. It doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he got some help from ChatGPT for. Oh, no, 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 no. ChatGPT was just about the worst, most toxic thing you could possibly use for it. Whatever <laughs> it knows about translating is utter bullshit. Oh, yeah. he, showed me, he showed me some screenshots from trying to use it on, on some parts of it. It wasn't even identifying words correctly by parts of speech. It, it, like if it's a noun, adverb, preposition... All, all that kind of stuff. It, it was just yeah. utter bullshit. Some of the stuff it was spitting out. C complete trash. <laughs> and there was nothing wrong with his prompts. Man, I've never seen such shit. It, it, it's, not, <laughs> it, it, it's not going to make translating anything for anybody any easier, that's for sure. Oh, yes. That's why some people are still paying on Fiverr for real translators. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Google Translate is terrible as well. Oh yeah, it's it's not as bad because at least they give you a word list with alternatives, whereas ChatGPT <laughs> it just gives you a slew of shit, and then uh, take the gospel. It, it, it's bloody hell. All right, we have got a Twitter Spaces upcoming on Wednesday, four p.m. UTC slash GMT. 11 a.m. I think it is New York time and the title for the spaces is uh, is tokens and UTXO DeFi base use cases so we're going to be discussing uh, what we can do uh, with the with the assets on the chain when we when we implement the main net and uh, how we can grow that and um, and all things like that it's going to be broken down into uh several sections uh with different subtopics and uh it's going to be our first spaces so if you uh want to check that out it's actually pinned in our twitter right now or x sorry uh it's pinned there and the link to the stream the spaces will be there as well uh, if you know anyone who wants to come and speak uh hit us up on a message on twitter direct message us or message or me on discord join the space we'll just join the space uh and request speaker it's yeah open we've sent out invitations to quite a few people uh, and it looks like we're going to get quite a crowd together so it should be really good yeah so that's pretty exciting hopefully we might uh, get one of those rolling every once every two weeks maybe or something like that so that's a new thing that we're starting as well charlie we've got winterborn on the sheet here uh <laughs> i don't think you want to uh share any screenshots do you piggy what why not there we go well is, is that a yes yeah it is go for it 
certain other parties can get bent. <laughs> that, yeah. that means no, then. That means no. Uh, no, it's not happening. No. No. Yes? Hey, no. guys, you don't what? see the new video of we make yesterday? You don't see it? Spanish video, rap? Oh, a rap video? Rap video. Rap what, 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 where, where is that? Come Where's on. that? You've been holding out on us. We need to see this now. Yes, yeah. yesterday. Okay. See, I yeah. I think you you must like it. It's a rap video yesterday there. Well, send us the link. Where's the link? Did put you put it, it in general chat. Yeah, put it in on the. Put it in the. Yeah. It's on YouTube. It's on TikTok. It's on everywhere. It's on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. Oh, I didn't see it. It's a guy from Mexico. It's not. It's not. It's not this guy. Um, <laughs> uh, how do you call this? Uh, <laughs> this other guy, the rap. The <laughs> look Mexa. the video. I, I, maybe you like it. Crypto Mexa, yeah, like Crypto Mexa. But if you give me the link, I'll play it on the stream right now. As long as yeah. it's not copyrighted. It's, no, it's not copyrighted. Send it's it a nice to, music. Send it to this chat that we're in now. I will send it to the chat right now. All right. <clears throat> the only thing is, I'll play it on the stream, but you lot won't hear it unless you, <laughs> unless you're watching YouTube. Well, well, well. Let me see here because and also you see, you say he's everywhere. It's not in the marketing channel. It's on the. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the YouTube channel, yes. It's it's on the Spanish YouTube channel. I, let me let me give you the link. All right, okay. Uh, Crypto Smith, we'll probably run over ten minutes, maybe ten minutes again. We'll see. Uh, so uh, <laughs> no, no, it's a it's a short. You can see it here. There is the where uh, blockchain. You see, the name is Blockchain King. Let me Just see it. Let me send it to you right now. Got it. Right. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Okay. Let me get that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mirando bloques como un depredador bora. Well, I know. I'm very sure. It doesn't have a copy in the blockchain. Rompiendo todo el esquema. So I'm torium. Not the music. Mis monedas son valiosas. No las subestimes. En este mundo digital, yo soy el que domina. En las transacciones en la red descentralizada, Raptorium es la joya más codiciada, privacidad y velocidad, un combo letal en este rap minero suena fenomenal. Desde el código fuente hasta la luna. Raptoreo sube como una fortuna con cada transacción dejando huella en este juego cripto. Es la idea. I must like it, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm just listening. El mundo. Just listening to it. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Hope you'll like that, guys. Well, actually, it's made it by uh, artificial intelligence. The voice, the music, everything. What about, so, the, what about the guy? It doesn't exist. It doesn't, it doesn't exist. The it doesn't exist. The... No, the music, the voice, the whole thing is, oh, is really? created by yeah. Yes. It's oh, very right. nice. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Well, it sounds like in the world of the blockchain, I don't pay Dr. Hume and the trono, and he's the top of the video. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Thanks for that, Alejandro. Uh, Faustian has been making some. Uh, new emojis for the server if you want to go and check those out in the discord server big thanks to Fostian for that uh we've got a new pool up crypto king king with a y that's k, k y n g dot com so crypto king.com go check it out if you want to go and help over there and diversify some raptorium hash rates big thanks to thrift store for doing the trivia on the last trivia night i will be doing the one tomorrow though charlie are you there mate no he's gone uh oh yeah 
my wife, my wife must be back or something. Uh, Charlie's been working on uh, the docs. Uh, there's some new commands at the Discord as well to access the docs from the Discord. Um, but there's a new doc, how to buy a Raptorium uh, with headers, fix, South X, remove, lift, list of exchanges, uh, buy country where you can buy crypto with fiat uh, has been added to it as well uh, with the overall URL that has, uh, is changed as well. Um, he's also created a Raptorium coin join explain document as well. Also a um, using coin join as well. Uh, and he's changed all the me six commands, uh, which link to the docs to have prefixed of docs underscore and then the name of the document. Uh, he's also resolved an issue with the caching breaking on uh, PDF display on the doc site. Also, Charlie has updated the bootstraps, uh, updated for January the, the 4th, so they're only a few days old. So, if you want to bootstrap your wallet and get it started up a bit quicker, uh, there's a nice new fresh one on them for, for you. Um, Alejandro, besides the rap video, <laughs> how's everything going on with the Spanish community? Yes, everything is fine. We are fine. Uh, the people are happy waiting for the good things every day and watching the progress of the code and everything is very good the people is animated they are they are they are like charlie they are waiting for the best for this 2024 yeah they are hoping the best yes 2024 and 2025 are going to be wild one way or yes while um and we like it we are waiting People, yeah. people is very, uh, they are very, they are very happy right now because all the parties, you know, Christmas and everything. So everybody's, is fine. They are relaxed. Uh, everybody's good. Yes. Yeah. We are planning good things on the community. We have them there ready for assets. I'm sure soon we are going to get them out with the assets too. When the asset comes out, community will do many things on a place where we have ready to share with the community. Alejandro, you're going to be on the spaces with us on uh, Wednesday. If you invite me, yes, I will be there. No problem. I mean, you don't need an invite. Just, just be there. <laughs> I will be there. I will be there. All right, brilliant. Yes. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, okay. I talked to the community today. Yes, oh, yeah? I know that. Okay. To Nogedo. Nogedo going to be there. Yeah. Brilliant. Adam Sherman, the Shermanator. How are you? And how I'm is well. the Discord? The yeah, Discord's doing great. Obviously, we've got a lot of new faces in the Discord, which is great to see. You know, welcome everybody that's new. Obviously, everybody enjoyed the uh, the New Year's rain party. You know, big thank you to Charlie for all that million dollars of a million RTM that was rained out. Some of the Gigatoshis may notice a, a new channel in the miscellaneous category, new AI Studio dash LCM, which is basically the same as the bot, but it's using Allura that generates the images more quickly. So instead of doing 30 steps, it's 15 steps. So you can generate a lot of images a lot quicker using that channel. Is it using a separate uh, system for that? No, uh, it's using the same system. I'm not sure if it's on a separate GPU or not, but I think it's the same system. So if someone's using the other one at the same time, does that mean it'll be slower? I think, I think it's going to sit in a queue, yeah. How can we but improve it, that, the speed of those? I think we just have to get another instance running on somebody else's uh, GPU. Does, uh, Wiz, does, does Wiz need another, another GPU? Well, I also hear uh, Floodweiser might have uh, some GPUs that are just laying around, some 3090s. Might be able to uh, entice him to uh, get the bot running up over there. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice for sure. What else is going on? Oh, one, one other thing that was just added as well t today, we added, uh, we added a mini game to, to the bot. So if you do slash mini game, It'll generate a couple images, and you have to guess what the prompt is, the first word in the prompt. It'll tell you how many letters in the word, and you have to guess what the uh, 
that word is. So has he it's stolen different. that from Piggy's trivia game that he invented? The reverse <laughs> AI. Sounds to me like he's, he's stole Piggy's idea. I think he might have. Yeah. But it's yeah. pretty cool. And he's got a leaderboard set up with it too. So you can see uh, how you stack up against everybody else. Yeah. So how does it figure out what... Does it just do it randomly? You just... Yeah, I don't know if he has, if he has a word list or if it's where it's pulling the words from. Right, it's basically, okay. higher prompt, but the first word in that prompt is obviously the main keyword, and that's the word you have to guess. Okay, and how long are the prompts? That are... Well, the prompts are pretty long, but you only have to guess the word, the right, first okay. word. Okay. We'll tell you how many letters are in there, so, so you could... can actually do generate more images of those first two images. So could the first word just be ah? Yeah, it could be ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, go. All right. I think we'll uh, take a couple of questions from the community. Uh, have you got any questions for us while we're here? Uh, before we go into the um, the interlude for the Crypto's Mystery. Dan Ruggs is saying, ban Piggy and Charlie. What are you saying to that, Piggy? Uh, well... Um, like in all good, good troll boxes, you need enough RTM to do that, <laughs> enough coins to do that. So uh, we're, we're open to it, but for a price. There you go, Dan. Uh, Eugene is saying, by the way, is that music by a new author you announced? Uh, the music's by uh, Don Bacon. Don Bacon music. Uh, fully authorised by um, David Owen Morris. Due to the <laughs> due to the initials, yeah. So go and check that out, Don Baker Music. If you're watching, Dom, uh, thanks again for the music. Yeah. Oh yes, it's nice music. Uh, um, Piggy, uh, you 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 look like here that you you've missed Neo Vag. Oh Neo Vag? No, no, I haven't missed him at all. But. Uh... He seems to have disappeared after I mentioned that again. Well, he came back, uh, made some comments on uh, YouTube about uh, about somehow releasing smart contracts before the chain was even at mainnet. Ah, uh, and he wants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Apparently, there was some promises made or something. I don't know. Uh, so the salt is still there. Uh, Neo Vag, if you want to come back to the Discord and make some music. By all means, let, let's get it done. What else is there on here? Raptor Verdad is saying, oh, I've got a question. Are you going to drop Python libraries to communicate with contracts? At some point after implementing them, probably. Going to be Java first and then probably Python second. Uh, maybe even C, C++. Dan Sain at FE, he's looking for a career in the adult industry. Oh, he's looking for a career in the adult industry. Yep. We'll, um, we'll, we'll just have to get him on only Raptors. Yeah, absolutely. Any time frame on asset decoupling? This is from Regency Clover. It's going to be quicker than what it was before no. with the new dev. Yeah. Um, it's, it should roll out quite a bit faster than what we've been able to manage so far with Burtux coming on. We've got the framework down for it. We've got the initial implement started, but uh, not enough for a public test net yet. Um, someone was also asking about when the second assets test net uh, should be there. Fairly soon. Uh, this soft forking mechanism and storing voting data on on chain, storing it somewhere on chain is not really the world's simplest issue to deal with initially because it's not like voting just for quorum sessions it's voting continually from all the nodes every few hours over a two-week period and still having that data directly accessible for all the nodes and the proof of work pools at the same time once it gets there so that's been a little bit tricky but uh, it looks like we've got our rocket scientist on it, so it should get sorted fairly quickly. Okay. Are smart contracts running this year on testnet at least? Yes and no. 
there are at least going to be some, a couple of betas coming up of what can be done with smart contracts on uh, Spark nodes. If it's going to be fully fledged and deployed, I don't know, or if it's going to run on the back end of its own cluster of RTM nodes to start with and run as a proof of concept for later. That That's yet to be decided. We've got someone working on that now. A few nodes are calculating pi to infinity at the moment on the back end, which can be turned into all kinds of stuff uh, for distributed compute and for other things. So um, things are happening, but it's it's not quite ready for for mass dissemination yet. Okay, uh, Dan Ruggs is asking when Citadel. Uh, I assume that's aimed uh, that, at Santos. Yeah, that's got to be a question for Santos. Is Santos uh, watching? Is he with he us? Might be. He might be, but hopefully Sa soon. Santos has been talking about the Citadel for the last four years. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we, we should start looking into that. What? Looking into it by what? Ask him again. No. I don't, I don't know. know. He's full of all these ideas, Santos is. Uh, have you seen he's all in one chair uh, where you can uh, take a number one and a number two and have a shower and a massage and uh, and go to sleep and... Have get... a number three while you're sleeping? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then there's the uh, fentanyl drones as well. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got to protect the stash, man. <laughs> Well, I think I don't think they're protecting it. They're they're shooting it at them. Oh yeah, but not. No, no, not that. That no one wants to use that shit. Uh, well, that well, that exactly. So weaponize it. Yeah, so that's that's his plan. Weaponize it. Kill everybody. Weaponize fentanyl yep. drones. Yeah. But uh... uh, Dan Ruggs is also saying, "Love you. Keep crushing it. Thanks for putting up with me." <laughs> yeah. All right. Cheers, mate. All Cheers. right. Okay. Uh, I think I've just got one more that came in. Let me just have a look. Someone's trying to sneak in. Uh, regarding when large exchange, is it time to rethink the idea given the regulatory insight and fraudulent activities in the space right now? Um, Perhaps CoinX, with its big backing benefits and track record, is the exchange to build a joint marketing program with. I mean, we, we've done marketing, joint marketing programs with CoinX. Yeah. yeah, and we are going to be doing several more. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Uh, I know there are pros and cons with a big exchange, uh, but perhaps the cons are a bigger future threat. Uh, I suppose it just depends on the exchange. What, what are you saying, Piggy? <laughs> I mean, what we've seen has been Uncle Scam overreaching again and again and again into this and sanctioning and sticking their long nose in where it's really not welcome in any way, shape or form without adding anything positive to the space or to the market. Um, it's quite frankly rather frustrating idiocracy. I'm not talking about the movie. It's the only way to define it. Crypto has come far too far. For them ever to be able to even begin to control it been accepted as property or as even valid for settlement on bank transfers in several countries around the world now they need to stop crying about it and get on the bloody train just because it's something you can't politically control through regular channels doesn't make it a bad thing it makes it a good and positive thing and anybody who thinks differently is a fucking idiot because control of money is what's given the world most of its problems at the moment uh, i would rather trust some code than i would trust the motives of a bunch of dipshit politicians code have to be free like argentina now you see yeah. what he say? He say whatever you do whatever you pay whatever you pay salary with the, any coin yeah. you want to pay and you'll be free. Just just free yeah. market. Just as long as you've got a contract that says what you should get, when you should get it. Um, That's it. You, yeah. It's up to people. Yes. It's up to people. It's not up to some decrepit old piece of shit politician uh, 
book who can barely wipe his own ass to make decisions for people about what they choose to use for payments. Yeah. It is what it is. Yes. Yeah. On another subject, uh, someone sent me something earlier uh, saying the reason the ETF is not a sell the news event is simple. Self custody. Uh, say you're a retiree, pension fund or financial manager. Uh, most people, including me, don't feel comfortable self custody in millions or tens of millions of dollars. Uh, th there's no way they're just going to leave their money on Coinbase either. Um, so really, what is the option for a normie manager managing multiple clients or an individual to add large amounts of Bitcoins to their portfolio? Uh, the, an the answer is they don't. And this is what an ETF is for. It allows the biggest money holders in the space to be able to safely transact with the with the blockchain markets. What do you say to that, Piggy? Or Sherm or Alejandro? Yeah, but I mean, it's going to cause an incredible liquidity influx because then people can sit at home and decide, hey, I want 1% exposure in my portfolio to crypto. And if that happens in, let's say, just Germany, then we're already talking about moving the market, the overall capitalization of the market by 50, 60%. There are places that are a lot more crypto friendly than Germany, uh, with the population a lot more engaged in crypto. Um, some of them might even in those places choose to hold a slightly higher percentage than 1%, maybe even 10% of their portfolio in crypto. Uh, boom. The, the capitalization inflow is going to be absolutely insane. All right, guys. It, it's, it's going to lift Bitcoin initially. While Bitcoin gets lifted, a lot of smaller projects might bleed and hemorrhage half to death. But the ones that manage to make it through, that are persistent, that continue on delivering, they're going to come out on the other side so much stronger. Once it starts mainstreaming just a little bit, we are also going to see a lot more people who are comfortable with sticking a few thousand dollars of looser investment money in than their pension plans into crypto. It's going to help normalize it. What we're really missing to get real mass adoption, it's not going to be real mass adoption just from the EFTs, is we need to get smaller businesses using crypto. Not necessarily for payments, but we need to get them using it and talking about using it for things like marketing, for things like quality certification, for logistics tracking. It can be anything. Once we've got businesses advocating for continue expanding blockchain usage combined with the EFTs, we are going to see huge growth, growth that's going to make the growth of Bitcoin so far for the time I've been in it seem, seem almost ridiculous in comparison. If you think about it, Piggy, it's all, it's it, even, even though people are a bit meh about it right now, because it hasn't pumped to the moon yet, it's ridiculous when you think about it, where we've come from compared to like the, the moon of 2017 or the, you know, the moon of, of, of 2013, 2014, what was then. And we, and, and we were all dancing on the moon and we were so, and we were so depressed when it came back down to, you know, five or $6,000 or whatever. Well, it actually came down all the way back to three on the last one. But to think that now people have, uh, have started at a different point on this cycle, They've completely forgot where we where we've come from. For them to be now bored of things, bored of the markets, and 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 stuck in a rut, it, it just seems stupid to me. But all that all that tells me is that there's a lot of new people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean we are going to see this growth whether they want it or not. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um... Crypto Smith. Uh, we we are sorry that we've rolled over, but it is the first stream back that we from all this time you know and it is much earlier than what your normal stream would have been so everything's okay crypto smith we're gonna have a bit of an interlude and we're gonna start the crypto smith stream on the hour so big thanks for joining us for this weekly raptorium stream don't forget to check us out at twitter spaces on wednesday 4 p.m utc yeah. slash gmt also 11 a.m new york time whatever that translates to in your if, term. You, if you've got anybody you'd like to have us talking to feel free to tweet out an invite yeah tweet out the space to them um see if we can't get talking we're open to collaborating with anybody absolutely fantastic
and uh, hopefully from this stream as well we can get some more ideas of what people want uh, in the UTX, UTXO DeFi space and what we should be working towards as well which are, which will be some nice insights as well so um, yeah looking forward to that and uh, yeah again big thanks for joining us on the on this RTM weekly update stick with us because we are here very shortly for a crypto smith stream uh, i have no idea what's going to be made today but i'm looking forward to it it's always good fun so yeah stick around for that uh big thanks to all the guys on this stream here right now who've uh who've attended thanks to charlie for coming on as well also thank you guys for watching us and uh yeah don't go away any final words you want to say on this part of the stream piggy or Alejandro. Yeah. Eh, nos vemos todos el, el, la semana que viene, esta misma semana, el miércoles, en, en vivo que hay en Twitter. Gente, comunidad, los que puedan asistir ahí, se les agradece. Piggy, anything controversial to say? Or uh, downright yeah. degenerate? Anything downright degenerate and controversial. Not, not political, though, just degenerate. <laughs> just degenerate. Just, just downright um, degenerate, yeah. Well... It's now five minutes to seven in the morning, and I have had enough booze that my wife is going to be taking the kids to school. <laughs> really? Yep. Okay. I didn't think you, I didn't think you drank much, Piggy. I don't, which is why she's going to be having taking them to school. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Cheers, guys, and uh, yeah. we'll be back next week uh, for another stream. Thanks for being yep. with us, and uh, stick around for Smith.